the tiny graphs in here. I want to show you how you can customize uh, roles so they can be used uh, Java roles. Uh, I wanted to to expose this uh, PI role so I can use uh, the PI adapter, but not use just the standard adapter, uh, the standard role for it. So if we here we can see that this user, the proxy user I'm using here, does not have the right uh, user. So if we go into identity management, we can see that there's this uh, role that exists, and we want. And we can see the assigned users. The user proxy here is not assigned. We want that. So what we'll do is we want to export this role. We want to have this role changed as a new one. So what we'll do is we'll export it, and then we'll download these printables and just say save. It's okay. Desktop. And we'll open it. So here we can see the, the file. And what we'll do is we will then create one that's called C3 that we have not created yet. And to make things easier, we'll just delete the and copy this. And then we can also go to the import section here. And uh, Return to import, I guess so, because I already have been doing. Then we just paste in this uh, role here and we say upload. Then it says I created this role, unique name, da da. And we can just say return the identity management. We can search again here, now we can see we've got the user 3. And it should have assigned all these actions that the other. Have. So what we just need to do is assign the user, proxy, modify, proxy, add, turn add, save. So now we have added the user and we uh, should be good to go. And we now see we get further, and, and this is just a, an error I was getting before also when the user had that IC authentication. So this is just a PI error. So this is just verified that the role is working, and we can create it just by exporting and then importing the new role. Thanks for listening, and I hope this uh, has given some value. If it has, please place a comment so I can see that this is something that has helped you. Thank you.